So comparative politics as a, as a subfield has always been changing. Um, it's, it's very exciting at the moment, the kind of things that are happening. I mean, for the longest time, comparative politics was really area studies. So there'd be people who specialized in Europe or North America or developing countries. But now it's become much more global. And the, 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 the rise of globalization, um, the, the rise of global issues like climate change, for example, all of these things have made the study of comparative politics just that much more relevant. We have to understand the way things are done around the world in different settings. Uh, the increase in the number of democracies ha has, has been an exciting development. And then the big the, so ongoing discussion about the health of the state. Are states getting weaker? Are they getting stronger? Are they simply changing? All of these kinds of issues are addressed in the book in ways which where we try to, to um, challenge students to think about these things and, and be controversial if necessary, to engage them to talk about, okay, well, what difference uh, do these kinds of broad developments have on the way that government takes place at the national level?